There's been a lot going on in the AI and tech world recently, and unless you're up till 3am every night reading articles like me, it's easy to fall behind on what's going on. But don't worry, I'm here to save the day, and in this video, I'll break down all the recent AI stories that you need to hear about. From Netflix listing a $900,000 AI job, to a new AI text detector with 99% accuracy. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. So the first news on this list is actually pretty insane. Recently, Netflix admitted that they're offering a salary of $900,000 per year for a single AI product manager. Big companies like Netflix rarely, if ever, disclose earnings like this because it can really rile up the Hollywood community. And that's exactly what has happened here. Following this, the Hollywood Actors and Writers Union are jointly striking for better wages, as well as regulation on studios' use of AI. It's being argued that the use of AI is putting pretty much every actor and writer's job in jeopardy. For instance, the chief negotiator for the Actors Union, Dunnekin Cabtree Ireland, stated, They propose that our background performers should be able to be scanned, get paid for one day's pay, and their company should own that scan, their image, their likeness, and be able to use it for the rest of eternity in any project they want with no consent and no compensation. The thing is, this isn't even the only new AI position that Netflix is looking for right now. They're also looking to hire a technical director for generative AI at the company's gaming studio. And the salary? Up to 650 grand per year. Now, it's great to see Netflix embracing AI, but there are clear tensions here regarding pay and the treatment of other workers. When most people in the industry are being paid a below average wage, it must be a big kick to the stomach to see Netflix offering such good money for a new staff member because it shows that they do have this kind of budget to spend on staff, they're just choosing not to. Chief Manager and Director of Disney, Bob Iger, has some pretty interesting things to say about the whole ordeal. When asked about the decision to invest so much in AI workers, he argued that those demanding better pay in the industry are being unrealistic. He followed this up by saying, in fact, we're already starting to see the use of AI to create some efficiencies and ultimately to better serve consumers. But it's also clear that AI is going to be highly disruptive and can be extremely difficult to manage, particularly from an IP management perspective. And you know what? He kind of has a point here. AI is the future, and the more Netflix invests in it now, the better results are going to be. And everyone's jobs are going to be affected by the rise of AI, not just actors and screenwriters. Of course, the amount they're offering to pay an AI product manager is kind of ludicrous, but I don't think anyone would be saying no if they were offered the money. But of course, we'd love to get your thoughts on this contentious issue in the comments below. Do you think that Netflix is treating its staff unfairly? Or is this huge paycheck justified? Now, if you've been keeping up to date on our recent videos, then you're probably aware that virtually every big tech company is dipping its toes in the water of AI, particularly AI language models. Google has Bard, Microsoft has Orca, and even smaller companies like Anthropic are creating revolutionary tech. But there is one company that hasn't expressed any interest in the space. Apple. Well, that was until recently. Just a few days ago, Apple announced that it will be delving into the world of AI with a new AI tool codenamed Ajax. Apple is going to try to compete with both OpenAI and Google to create the most proficient and popular language model the world has ever seen. Now, aside from the fact that we know that this thing is in development, we don't know much else about Ajax at all. But we can make some educated guesses. And trust me, if any of these predictions come to life, Apple users are going to be in for a real treat. So it's first been speculated that Ajax will be integrated into Apple's iMessage service. This integration could see the AI model offer responses based on context, make organizing meetings and trips with your friend much easier, and organize any reminders you may have directly from your messaging app. We could also see the translation take a step forward with real-time integrated translation services. There's a good chance we could see Keynote integration too, which would completely change the way that we create and deliver presentations. Ajax will be kind of like a personal assistant here, helping you organize and design your slides based on your goals and the context of your presentation, generating content based on user prompts, and may even provide real-time feedback to help you create a better presentation. Keynote is such an underrated tool, and AI integration would just take this to a whole new level. Oh, and how awesome would it be to see Ajax integrated into Apple Pages? By giving user recommendations based on context, real-time advice, and corrections, as well as quicker formatting, referencing, and citing, the lives of students, office workers, and writers are going to get so much easier. This model could literally take all the headaches away from writing tasks, allowing you to enjoy your work and get it done 10 times quicker. 
And perhaps the most exciting integration that we get to see is with the Health app. Ajax could potentially revolutionize how we track health data and offer new levels of analysis to offer insights and advice for users on how they can lead a healthier life. We could even see Ajax analyze patterns to detect potential health risk. Virtually no other AI model has access to data like this, so this integration could be what sets Ajax apart from the crowd. Of course, there will be some data concerns if an AI model is given access to our health data. But then again, Apple has always been very hot on security and privacy, so it may not be as big as a concern as we think. Apple has the potential to create something insane here. It has the money and the wealth of expertise to compete with Google and OpenAI, as well as a crowd of loyal fans who will download literally anything as long as it has the Apple logo on the front. Apple also has a huge advantage over companies like OpenAI. It has the infrastructure in place and years worth of data from every user. So as long as the company can create a functional AI model, Apple will once again revolutionize the tech space. So with the rise of dozens of different AI language models, the need for AI detectors has also risen. Schools don't want students having ChatGPT write their assignments. Workplaces don't want contracts drawn up by BARD, and small business owners don't want their blog posts created by AI for copyright purposes. And to be honest, most of the current detectors aren't very good, and can easily mix up human and AI work. However, recently, a company called CellPress released a paper claiming that they have created a method that can distinguish academic science writing from humans or ChatGPT, with over 99% accuracy using off-the-shelf machine learning tools. In short, this is what the paper claims. ChatGPT has enabled access to artificial intelligence, AI-generated writing, for the masses, initiating a culture shift in the way people work, learn, and write. The need to discriminate human writing from AI is now both critical and urgent. Addressing this need, we report a method for discriminating text generated by ChatGPT from human academic scientists, relying on prevalent and accessible supervised classification methods. The approach uses new features for discriminating these humans from AI. As examples, scientists write long paragraphs and have a penchant for equivocal language, frequently using words like but, however, and although. With a set of 20 features, we built a model that assigns the author as human or AI at over 99% accuracy. This strategy can be further adapted and developed by others with basic skills and supervised classification, enabling access to many highly accurate and targeted models for detecting AI usage in academic writing and beyond. So how on earth did the company go about creating a tool this complicated? Well, first of all, they took 64 perspective articles from September of 2022 to March of 2023 and used them to generate 128 ChatGPT articles to create a training set. This in turn created 1,276 sample paragraphs for the tool to be trained from. And after a lot of testing and manual comparison, they were able to find four categories of features useful in distinguishing human writing from AI-generated content. These are paragraph complexity, sentence-level diversity and length, differential use of punctuation marks, and indifferent popular words. Later in the paper, Cell Reports goes on to explain this further, stating, two of the four categories of features used in the model are ways in which ChatGPT produced less complex content than humans. The largest distinguishing features were the number of sentences per paragraph and the number of total words per paragraph. In both cases, ChatGPT's averages were significantly lower than human scientists. We also found that humans prefer to vary their sentence structure more than ChatGPT. While the average sentence length was not a useful discriminator of the two groups, the standard deviation of the sentence length in any given paragraph was a valuable differentiator, as was the median difference in words between a given sentence and the one immediately following it. Humans varied their sentence lengths more than ChatGPT. Humans also frequently use longer sentences, 35 words or more, and shorter sentences, 10 words or fewer. It was also explained that ChatGPT makes different stylistic choices to humans, using more single quotes and providing more general rather than specific information in writing. So what this company has essentially done is analyze every single character that ChatGPT wrote across a variety of prompts to find trends, and did the exact same thing with human articles, and then analyze for differences. Yeah, talk about complex. However, there are limitations to this thing, and have been recognized in the paper. For instance, they say, 
While this study, with a large body of test data, demonstrates strong proofs of principle, we note that many of the key differentiating traits between humans and ChatGPT, including the use of colloquial and emotional language, are not traits that academic scientists typically display in formal writing. So these accuracies seen here would not necessarily translate to academic writing. So how well the study is going to translate into the real world is anyone's guess. But either way, what this company has done is absolutely incredible and seriously innovative. Of course, we'd love to hear what you have to say on all these topics in the comments below. Is Netflix justified in paying an AI director more than any other worker? Will Apple be able to break into the AI space? And has cell reports revolutionized AI detection? Or will these results fail to translate into real life setting? Be sure to stay tuned for the next video because trust me, it's gonna be awesome. And of course, we'll see you in the next one.